Yo, what's up guys? Quick update on Bitcoin. I just want to show you guys that I was wrong about this. I did say, you know, I thought there was going to be a cor correction slash consolidation. You know, I thought it would be like this area would hold. Um, but lo and behold, it dropped harder, right? So I was wrong. I'm going to say I am wrong. What I want to tell you guys though is the, re you know, you guys got to do your own TA. You guys got to try to be better at TA than I am. Th that's always been my goal. I show you guys what I know, but that's how you get better. You watch someone else on YouTube. That's, you know, I used to watch uh, Trey Devils. I watched some other guy on YouTube. I know what they're doing, but I'm not like hating on them for being wrong or whatever. Because I'm, I'm using what they're doing to make myself better, right, as a trader. Now, I look at these charts 24-7. So if you, if you don't do that, maybe you're not going to be able to. But I still want you guys to try to be better at TA than I am. And one of the things I want to show you guys is that I, I never, ever chart low market cap coins. I, I do that for a reason, right? I'm going to get on that in a second. This is going to be a very important video. You know, if you're wondering what's happening with Bitcoin right now, uh, okay, so what, what I'm going to show you guys is just don't panic, guys. Like, I, I think most of you guys at this point that, that at least watch me, you guys are not like Bitcoin whales, right? You guys are all in altcoins, right? So you're looking at this going, wow, what if this breaks down? My altcoins are all going to go like drop 80%, right? That's what, that's what most people are worried about. I want to tell you guys don't panic. You know, for the vast majority of people, you know, I don't think anyone's holding all BTC at this point, but it dropped six percent. Uh, you know what I mean? Which is, if you are, it's not that much of a pa it's pain, right? Unless you're like a whale, right? So you know, I am going to be wrong about this type of stuff, and I'm telling you guys that you guys need to be better traders than me. But the thing is, though, that th this still looks pretty good, guys. We're at massive support on the volume profile. You know, th what I what I want to tell you guys: pay attention to open interest and p pay attention to funding, right now. Because what's going on right now, this is deleveraging before we lift off. That's It's clearly what's going on. Now, you could say that's speculation, right? And, yeah, it is speculation based on my experience with trading for 10 years and looking at charts 24-7 and my IQ and everything. That's, that's speculation, right? So you got to make your own assumptions whether what I'm saying is BS or not. Um, but, you know, based on what I'm seeing, this is just deleveraging before we lift off. Now, to say exactly what's going to happen is pretty much impossible, and I'm going to be wrong, and I'm going to tell you guys straight up, I'm going to be wrong. You need to be better at TA than I am. That's my goal. This is TA education. You know, I don't chart low market cap coins. I'm not a Ponzi schemer or anything, and I'm going to get to that in a second. I think it's important for you guys to realize how crypto works. And how there are bad actors that may not be aware of it. What happens is that greed takes over, right? So we're looking at this going, what's going on? I, you know, BTC always bounces, guys, especially when it gets to mass support. So don't panic. Nothing goes straight down. I, you know, I think at least we're going to get a bounce up like that, right? So if you just look at, let's, you know, add some scripts here. This is on low time frame, but it, it does a nice, uh, we'll just add these two as well. Right, so you know, as you can see, we are at mass support. We did fall below a POC here, but there is more volume cluster right here, and we are at the bottom of the range. So you know, first things first, I am expecting a bounce. Plus, we are clearly oversold. You guys could do this yourself, so don't panic. Why? Number one, Bitcoin is very technical. Once you're aware of that, you know it always bounces at massive support, especially once that confluent resistances or supports. So this is going to bounce. We got to see what kind of bounce we get. Now, this is probably going to be some kind of ABC at this point, and I was wrong. You know, I said it likes to alternate between the 236 and the 618. It really just comes down to, in my opinion, deleveraging, de de right? So if you go here and you look at this, right? So now it looks like 618 is the target where there is massive support here, right? So I would be expecting, you know, something like that down to the 618 that's kind of what i'm thinking right now so if we go up on the higher time frames what i want to show you guys um this kind of confirms that we are our best support this is a medium time frame uh one day is kind of similar we got that massive support right area right here this kind of still looks like an accumulation pattern squeezes tight i'm going to get to some other stuff in a second that i think you guys will find interesting i want to show you guys that the three day higher time frames is still at a 9t 
and we are breaking down from this top trend line so that move up is still coming guys don't panic this is still accumulations in my opinion it's just quick deleveraging before we lift off right so this is on the weekly we are touching that bottom trend line before we go up and the this type of distribution pattern but you know this little move up here like i said it's probably going to correlate with a big move up and the reasoning behind that in my opinion is because you just pay attention guys to the volume and the squeeze right so i did a simplified version of this high time frame chart right here um right where the, i just have the bollinger bands which is pretty much an indicator of volatility but a little bit extra with the top and bottom ranges which is the bands right and then you have the volume right so uh, i guess what we could do is just look at this point right when the when the volatility was tight it was low it, the bands were kind of pretty tight same with this portion right here the main thing to pay attention to here is that the volatility is low and the volume is decreasing right so what happens this is what i do a lot of times this is very important when the volume is decreasing what well, we know and i say this over and over again that the volume is going to start increasing right and the volatility is going to come right it's the same that happened here it's the same that happened here but what happens a lot of times first is that there is deleveraging that needs to happen right which is kind of occurring right now but as you can see the volume here on this move up has been decreasing as we've been consolidating in this range right you can see the volume decreasing you can see the volatility is getting tight so what we can deduce from that is that volume is going to come and the and the and the volatility is going to come right and then the next thing you could see here that this is an accumulation pattern from the bottom of the range in an ascending triangle type thing so clearly once this deleveraging is complete we are going to go up for this move up so stop panicking guys the main thing to you know, I mean, you guys are probably not panicking. I'm just saying that it, it, sometimes it feels like people are panicking. Just keep an eye on right now. The most important thing is the open interest and the funding and, and any dealer and any type of data like that that you could get from derivatives is really important right now because once that deleveraging is complete, you know, this is going to play out where that volume comes and the volatility comes. Most likely, it's going to correlate with that move going up. Okay. I want to point that out so you know right now we are at a massive support and that's just something we have to pay attention to right um so i want to get that out of the way uh, you know in the short term i'll keep this updated you know these are straight red candles we're probably going to get some kind of bounce that's what i have to say about that right now you guys already know my larger term counts i still think we're looking for this wave three there's just too much confluency this thing is going between 90 to 100k I won't, okay so we got that out of the way guys um the other thing i want to show you guys total three btc right it looks pretty bottomed i've been going through this chart a lot um total three t beat doge btc i have to point this out this still looks like a one two one two me too many people are following doge this looks like a one two one two still looks like a one two one two to me right it, it we're just consolidating here Right, and it looks like actually, you know, the, the alt season is kind of starting. This looks like it is breaking out of this. This is on the one week this is playing out. So even Bitcoin is dropping. It looks like alts are starting to hold, right? So we just need to wait for that Bitcoin deleverage to complete, Bitcoin to go up, and then alts should look pretty good. Like total three over BTC USD, guys, this is an accumulation pattern, completely bottomed, right? At the bottom of the range. Um, doge looks like a one two one two others th this looks like an ascending tr triangle some kind of symmetrical triangle we have a move up this is others others d looks like it has move up still right i mean bnb looks pretty good guys i want to point out this coin we are ta uh, tax uh, back testing that poc and okay i want to get to uh pepe i want to show you guys something different real quick um did that did that where is this uh, show you guys this uh i want to show i want to talk about this guy a little bit guys this guy max uh because btc i'm not going to say anything bad about this guy I, th I think he is a good person but you know if you guys are in the space you probably heard about him you might be following him maybe you haven't maybe you do follow his youtube right 
but he started shilling these like low market cap meme coins like he didn't start off doing this like when he first uh you know made this uh his channel like i looked at his oldest videos right like this is oldest this is his youtube right like he was just charting bitcoin bitcoin for a long time right Bitcoin, 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 and he started charting Pepe, right, like one month ago. And this Pepe was at about like, I think like 150 million market cap, 200 million market cap, so it's fine, right? But like I said, th this is where it gets a little weird because this guy recently, you know, started making a video about other meme coins that he made eight days ago, which is about April 1st, right? And this is the video right here, and I, I went through this entire video and then he, these are the coins that he talked about right um and i already have them up on deck screener so he made this on april 1st right so these are coins i already have it on a watch list um so i already have this marked the one of the coins he talked about was uh dodo right dodo was one of the coins he talked about or sneebu was one of the toys let's go to dodo real quick so he made this video on April 1st, right? And you could set this by market cap. So this thing's market cap on April 1st was like above 10 million here, right? So some of these were about 10 million or something that he made this video on April 1st talking about these meme coins, guys, where it was about like 15 million or so, right? Um, but one of the coins he talked about was Andy, and he's still talking about that coin a lot. Like I said, I don't think he's even aware. Let's just copy this. Let's copy this here. All right. One of the coins he talked about here, guys, is Andy. April 1st is right when he made this video. And it exploded after, or kind of while he was either making the video or, yeah, after he made the video, right? It went from, wow, this thing went from less than 1 million market cap to 20 million market cap. Now it's hovering at 50 million market cap, guys. So he shilled this coin on April 1st. Well, it was below 1 million market cap, right? And then, uh, and then it exploded up to 50 million. You guys, this is why I tell you guys, you guys need to do your own TA. I never ever do TA on coins that are below, like, 100 million market cap. The, the coin that I did talk about before, Elon, I think that's at, like, 200 million market cap. I never talk about low market cap coins, guys. This is a Ponzi scheme. I don't know if he's aware of it or not, but just, just be careful and do your own TA, guys, right? This is pretty common sense. If you go to this guy's Twitter, this is all he talks about is Andy here, April 1st, Andy. It's all he's talking about since like April 1st and he has like 32K followers, guys. And you know what else is crazy is that he has a premium Discord that he talks about in his video that he, he literally told his premium Discord before he made this video. So if you go to his website, guys, oops, shit, this thing went up to here. So let's just move this back. <laughs> if you go to his website, dude, this guy's payment for his premium is $350 per month if you want analyst TA and positions. So like if you want him to show you meme coins, basically, it's $350 per month, right? And he told everyone in his Discord about these meme coins before he made this video. So this point right here, his Discord knew about this coin and they bought in and he bought it. He bought in first and his premium Discord bought in and then he made the YouTube video which shielded to all his followers, which is like 10K plus. And then the thing, you guys could see clearly how this is a Ponzi scheme, right? You guys could clearly see why I do not chart low market cap stuff. It's common sense, guys. So I want to tell you guys to be careful and uh, and do your own research and, and learn TA for yourself. This is why I show you guys what I show and I only chart high market cap stuff because even if you're trying to be like a good, like obviously if the market cap is below 1 million and you're a multi-millionaire and you have a private Discord group where, where people are rich, they're paying $350 per month. 
that's a lot of money that you have in your group right that you are and then you start charting something that is less than 1 million market cap of course it's going to pump it's called common sense this is why i don't do, do low market cap stuff especially as i get more subs on youtube i try to teach ta education and crypto education so you guys can make your own decisions right this is what i do this is what i've been doing this is what i always do i'll never ever shill any of this stuff and i want you guys to use your head and figure out what is real and what is not real right so at this point this thing is at 50 million i mean you could still chart it i'm still not going to chart this thing because this thing the market cap is still too low for me to chart in my opinion i like to chart only things that are above 100 million or 200 million market cap guys i do that on purpose especially as i get bigger on social media and you guys need to understand this stuff right like how this works if you connect the dots like i said he might not be aware of it but like he, i mean the last like week or so you know you get greedy all this stuff is going on you want to provide for your community whatever it is right um like i said he might not be of even aware that he's doing it but this is i mean look at this coins market cap before april 1st right April 1st, this thing's market cap was at less than 1 million. He made the video. He told his Discord group. And then his Discord group, if they put in a lot of money, they made a lot of money. The people that got in and saw the YouTube early, they made a lot of money. And now these are considered backholders. Now, you know, we are in early stages of a bull market. You know, it does, you know, all coins do look good, right? And it looks like these guys are probably going to hold. And this guy pr thinks that Bitcoin is going to go to like crazy amounts, right? Because he's doing like, ba in my opinion, basic TA on like past patterns as he's depicting into future patterns, right? Which I think that, you know, like Pepe, I don't think it's going to go to crazy amounts, guys. Like what I'm looking at Pepe right now is a 2x. So that's why I just want to tell you guys the main thing, the m most important thing to do is to learn TA for yourself and understand how Bitcoin works and where Bitcoin is going. <coughs> so if you guys understand that, then you guys can front run people like this. All right. And you don't need to pay all this money. You could do your own TA. All right. That's what you guys need to realize. I'm not going down with a ship like that, scamming good, good people, good people like that for money. <coughs> so I hope this video was informative, guys. I got to give you guys my honest thoughts on the crypto market. Be careful. Do your own TA use your use your head guys uh, what's real or what's not tupac look this up guys on google don't support the phony support the real look that look at look that up on youtube guys thank you for watching thank you